Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you Leo, okay? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, okay, and Chiron, Pluto, all right? Um, all placements, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot, thank you. We'll start with some um, oracles for you here, Leo. Okay? Okay, Leo. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm like, I don't think I told you yet. Okay, we have mysticism, workaholic sideways, bittersweet, prayer sideways, and gossip upright. I don't know why, but in, 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 interesting. What? In, 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 in. Okay, stuttering. Someone stuttering. Well, I stutter sometimes. I have a stutter problem. I'm autistic, so I have my tics and traits. But no, um, Innocent Bystander. And I forgot what movie it was from. It's a Disney kids movie. It's not Ratatouille. Damn. Or is it? It might be Ratatouille. But anyway, oh, someone please tell me. It, 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 they're, little, they're mouse. They're mice. And then like one of them's like, he's an innocent bystander. Just like that. Innocent bystander. I don't know why I feel like, because you know what you're doing in mysticism. You're tr you're a workaholic, but you, you, you know how to balance all that. You prefer work, but you also probably have important people and loved ones in your life that you got to give time to. In the work energy, that's where something feels bittersweet to the point where it, fall, it causes you to want to get into prayer in any way, shape or form, healing, guidance, something of yourself that you believe in to tap into to sit with what's going on. And then I don't know if there's gossip around you and you are just aware you're around it. You're the innocent bystander. Like what the fuck is all this? Or you might have healthy gossip with loved ones. Okay. We all gossip. We all need to vent and express to loved ones. But then there's a difference of how much shit talking are you doing? And is it facts? There was always this joke I always made back then. I'm like, I'm not talking shit. I'm talking facts. Cause if you're talking facts, then it's facts. It's not shit. So, you know, but if it's just like, rock, 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 it's like, well, you know, is it going anywhere? Or is it just a fart in the wind? I, I don't know. I'm looking at this for once kind of neutral, kind of like, I feel like you're around it. And even if you say it, it's, I don't know. It's like, did you, I don't, I don't know. For, I just feel like it's a healthy gossip. It's a little chit chat. Okay. Let's see here, Leo with the tarot. What's going on? Okay, Leo, that's a lot of cards. I don't know if I want to take them honestly, but I guess I will. You're my last one of the day. I'll just take it. But this is a lot. Okay, hold on. Okay, you may be gossiping. Fuck it. Who cares, Leo? I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> Leo, you've seen what I've done. So, But honestly, what I've said is not gossip. It's facts. Someone else wants to be a chimera and squawk their fucking beak. They let the public know. I'm going to fucking just repeat what they've squawked. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, and I was talking facts, not shit. <laughs> All right, let's see here. 
what's actually happening here yeah oh okay leo i don't know maybe i'm tapping into a different leo what happened okay you're not okay justice is here but did it work for you or with you or are you is it against you i don't know there's a there's a calm energy of justice for you but then right after that i don't know what the hell happened here all right so did you get handed papers a contract did you get served you know what i mean is this legal stuff are you having to deal with some shit i don't know right after that it's like you're not wanting to reflect on any of this hear it dive deep within it like you don't give a shit you're like i'm not even going to for some reason to not want to deal with yourself or to hide away then it made you feel worse it made you feel and think even more negative it made you have to maybe literally gossip or just um be very cold manipulative and strategic in what's going on that right there has caused you to realize what are you going to do with your money the abundance who you're connected to with business and all that it's kind of like stagnant plateau right now it's like you're not going to make any moves right now you're just going to do what you got to do okay and then right after that it's caused you to not really one either you're not passionate at all for what the hell you're doing and making money off of or what's going on in life but you have to still stay stuck in it or you want to force a new chapter and it's not working out for you or you just you're done right after that i don't know if it's the marriage or the relationship that you are in that is dysfunctional is it a current divorce is it you just you know are you the one cheating are you not trustworthy you know you don't care about your person are you dealing with just bullshit family members is it something bigger and deeper of people society you know what i mean like are you just not feeling fulfilled in what used to be wonderful and fulfilling either or then that's caused you to realize well you can't walk away from it quite yet whatever it is and then after that you're like fuck this i don't want to hear it today from anyone I'm going to be fixed in my own, you're going to be your own, you know, you're lying, you're the old lion. So you're just going to sit there and be fixed in your own ways. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to believe what's going on in life. You don't want to see it, but you're, I don't know if you got rageful at the end or you are just, you need something to go your way or, or else. So let's just clarify and see what's going on here, Leo. Okay, well, you're, you're here. Your energy's right there, but you're not happy about the contract. You're not happy about who signed what. You may not be happy. You may be very pissed off about having to serve papers, having to deal with this, or because justice did get served on you. And I don't know how, okay? I don't. All right, either or, guys. Okay, it's an opportunity that are you like, do you want it to happen? Is it in the workings or do you not want it? You're not sure. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it now. It's frustrating. It's it's the work. It's who you work with. It's the workplace. It's who you're alliance with. It's who you collab with. It's one sided. And you're like, fuck all this. I'm so done. Oh, God, Leo. Okay, hold on. And I'm not even going to say it's fear. It's not fear. It's just like, fuck, I'm stuck here right now. I got to figure but I can't figure it out. And I got something's going on here, Leo. Because you're a good worker. You're hardworking. But someone's fucking with your job. I think you know when it scares you a little, but then you don't want to accept it. Because they're right in your face. For some of you. Huh. So then you you, you run, you, you try to get more information and guidance and knowledge to figure out, like, what is it? Mm. Okay. Let's see more here. Oh, God, Leo. No, you don't want to accept the truth. 
Oh, that's what's fucking with you, though. You don't want to accept the truth of it all. You don't want to see it. It's okay. You're not ready. You just don't want to see it. Damn. That's what's causing you, though, to be manipulative, cold, uh, you know, dark, twisted, like, defensive and, and think negative and have to... Yeah, okay. Right. But see, you're not... It's not... Uh, something... Or someone is not fulfilling you anymore. And it's it's just not the fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, not it for you. You're trying to get what you want. You didn't. And you're not. And it's like, what the hell? And then it's messing with that money. It's And you're, you're fighting, like, do I to be independent? To just cut it off, be on my own? Or to not? It's like, you're right there teeter-tottering. Matching the prayer workaholic energy. Sideways. Okay, okay, there you are at home. Okay, you go home. Things are stable at home. That's beautiful. Okay, and that's where, well, either you go home and have a good time with whoever's at home with you, and I'll leave it there, or you, hmm, or what's ever going, you, you may not just want, there's no passion there. There's no love. There's no happiness at home or who you're with or whatever, the stability or it's kind of like you really need to have something happen and it's not yet. Either or, I'm not sure here. Like some sort of like new chapter. Oh, what the fuck? Leo, what are you doing? So, oh God. So now you're spying and creeping on a marriage outside of you that either you hate, you don't like them. You don't like... You don't like them. You're having to get information on them or about them. The thing is, is you're spying and lurking, you know, like making fake accounts or like you're spying, lurking on someone you either. Okay, for some of you, you are single and you are obsessed with someone who's with someone else and you really want to be with them and you're just going to be, you know, a little bit of a creep. <laughs> Others of you, you are like... You are in your own marriage and commitment and you are obsessively trying to get information on your partner, business partner or your marriage or commitment relationship. Others of you, it's like what the thing is, it's over your head, what you're lurking and spying and what information you're absorbing. It's so much that even you can't even wrap your mind around it. And it's making things dysfunctional for you, unfortunately. I don't really know if it's kids for some of you. It could be. I don't know. Okay. So it looks like you're okay. You're going to just, okay. You're going to keep going. Cause you know, it's a slow and steady wins the race. You know, you got to just keep going with something and you're not going to walk. That's what's making, that's what's making you not walk away from this financially, energetically, emotionally, whatever this is. Okay. What do we got here towards the end? Ah, shit. Oh God. Ah, the moon. There's that Pisces energy. Okay, we got a little cancer here too. Um, oh, that's what got you. Okay, so one, it got you either rageful, fixated, or you're just like, nope, my way, the highway, not having it. Or you're you're obsessive and you're like, what the fuck? At the end, you leave this reading like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck, you know, very much like, ah, wah, wah, you know, like, damn it, Leo. I don't know. I wish I could help you. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's, it's it's literally the moon. The moon. We know. We don't know the fucking moon. I know, Phoebe. I don't know. I hate the moon. The moon's, oh my God. It's like, what? how are you going to know? You don't know. You got to tap in to yourself. That's the only way to know. Ooh, it's like an eclipse. Something got the eclipse. Something got, um. what is it called? I, I'm seeing in my head something scary, like, ooh. You know, like, I don't know. How to, I'm not doing the fucking hand jive in fucking Greece. No, <laughs> the eclipse. I don't know. It's, it's like now you see it, now you don't. Boop. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, 
Yeah, that's what I got for you. Um, we got here Leo, Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more Aquarius, more Pisces, more Sagittarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, I hope this helped. Thank you guys. Bye.